Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella, and this is episode number 87. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, first, I want to thank everyone for watching and liking and subscribing and sharing and all that stuff. And I want to welcome all the new subscribers. Um, there's been quite a few lately. And I want to thank uh, and welcome back all the original subscribers. And yeah, our numbers are going up and it's awesome to um, see it continue to rise. After all this time, I've been doing this for a little over two years. I think June 2017 is when I started, so it's a little over two years now. And I love it and I'm so thankful for everybody's um, support and you know kindness <laughs> and all that stuff I love everybody's comments and I do try to respond to most of them if I don't respond to one of your comments I probably read it and then I forgot to respond because I do that I read them a lot on my phone and then I go back and respond to them on my computer unless it's something that needs to be answered like right away but anyways <laughs> I just wanted to um, let you guys know how much I appreciate you and all your support on here on my YouTube, on my Facebook, and even in my Etsy shop. And it's helped a lot right now. Um, especially with our hospital bills from Jesse breaking his arm. All that all adds up. <laughs> and it's helping a lot. And I want to thank you guys all for that. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and hop in. I got some finished objects. I think I have six. Yeah, I'm like, I'm channeling some Noah. I got two of each. <laughs> so I got six finished objects. I got one whip to show you. I've got another finished object, really, but I can't show it because it's a pattern that I designed. And um, I don't really have any other whips. I need to start some more. But all my finished objects today, again, are amigurumi because I'm trying to go really hardcore and finish a bunch of amigurumi for the craft fair that I have coming up on October 12th. It's a Saturday. It's a fall, you know, it's October, <laughs> so I'm going to take a bunch of random amigurumi and then some Halloween themed ones, and I might try to squeeze in some just like pumpkins and stuff if I have the time, which I still got, you know, a, uh, over a month to prepare, so I'm trying to, you know, go ahead and do that. Um, what else? I'm trying to design some patterns for to release in September, hopefully early September, for Crochet Long that I want to co-host with one of my friends. And uh, we'll announce all that stuff later when we get it all straightened out. But I, so far I have two patterns designed for it. And I, uh, there's at least four more <laughs> that I want to um, finish getting all together and all that. If not for the cow, at least, you know, just to start uh, selling on my Etsy shop. I've always wanted to design patterns and then I just recently um, got addicted to it. <laughs> I designed two and I've already got ideas for other ones. So I'm excited about that. I think it's going to be a fun other side hustle hold on a second okay sorry jesse wanted something to drink <laughs> but yeah he's here by the way my mom is still real sick um she's got a upper respiratory infection and i don't know if it's because of her age or if it's because of her health because she has kind of not the greatest health anyways um every time she gets something like that it usually gets really bad and she ends up with like really bad bronchitis and stuff like that or uh, pneumonia and all that stuff so she's still trying to uh, get back over that <laughs> i say that because normally i used to only film when he was at her house because he used to go there like every weekend but anyways with that aside he's here so i may have to edit him out a lot because he's in his underwear all the time but let's go ahead and get started got my list I'm scooting up <laughs> in my chair. I do got a few acquisitions too to show, share you with you guys. Stay, if I can keep it all steady. All right. Last week I had um, some of these done and it is the My Crawl of the Spider by To Craft a Home and it's a free pattern and it's a super easy pattern. There is no sewing whatsoever except the last end when you close up your spider you sew it shut and that's all you're doing. The insides, um, you know, the starting magic ring end you know you could weave it in a little bit but you don't even have to cut it because it can just be part of the stuffing but last week I made two black ones two green ones I don't remember I made some last week I can't even remember but this week I made two orange ones <laughs> and these are really bright like fluorescent Halloween orange and their eyes are different sizes but one has yellow eyes and one has green eyes and these are just safety eyes that I order from Amazon I order a big um, container it's like ten dollars maybe and it has like 200 sets of eyes in it um i don't even know who i just order it every time i run out i order another one it's the same company i will link it below if i can remember but um i've never had any issues with them and someone asked me about um if i was worried about selling these to kids um i have a kid <laughs> and have ever since he was born <laughs> he's had crochet toys and he has never chewing on them yanking on them everything he has never gotten one of these safety eyes out now i understand being cautious but um 
Jesse's never successfully gotten one off, so I don't feel too bad about selling this to people with his age kids or older ones. Uh, and maybe if you were giving it to an infant that is teething, you might want to do crochet sewn on eyes or embroidery eyes. But um, if a kid could get one of these off, they could probably get a sewn on eye off too, or even an embroidery, because if you embroider it, they could pull the string out and still choke on it. So there's always a choking hazard for anything with children. So, But I am pretty confident in safety eyes. I'm not too worried about it just because I've put them through the test with Jesse. But this is a super quick and easy pattern. You start at the top <laughs> and you just increase a certain amount and then you make the legs, they're attached to the round and then you just decrease down and close it and that's it. <laughs> super easy and quick and it's basically like an octopus, just the legs are spaced out differently. Instead of all the way around, they're just four on either side. Super quick, easy. I can pop these out. I have this pattern memorized now so I can make these you know, in the car or outside when Jesse's playing or when we're over at my in-laws house or something, I'll be working on stuff like this because they're easy to remember. But this uh, yarn is, um, I can't remember what it is. It was a scrap ball. I don't think it's a red heart though. I don't remember where I got this. It's really bright orange, like crazy bright orange. But yeah, they're super cute and I love this little pattern. All right, my next finished object is another more, two more, ever grew me. Uh, you would have seen these in my vlogs if you're watching Vlogist, and if not, that's fine. But this is called uh, Pretty Little Ghost by Winding Road Crochet. It's another free pattern on her website, and it'll be linked below. All Everything I talk about is linked below, unless I forget. And if I forget, just yell at me in the comments and be like, hook me up, and I will send it to you through the comment. <laughs> or just go edit the description. But anyways, I made two of these. The first one was white. <laughs> now, in the pattern, she has a crocheted bow on the top, and uh, she puts eyelashes on, it's really blown out, and uh, like a button. I didn't want to put the button because I don't have any buttons. I'm trying to use stuff that I have. I didn't want to put the bow because I didn't want to make it a girly one. And same with eyelashes. And I'm really bad at embroidering eyelashes anyways. But I just wanted to make like a basic ghost. Because it, then it could be a girl or a boy. Whoever buys it and plays with it can, you know, do whatever. Or it could be decoration. I need a mom. All right, go back in your bedroom, okay? So this is another super quick pattern. It is a little tedious the, to the start because you start way up here and it's two crochet, two single crochet, and then you start going around from there. That's a little annoying because it's kind of hard to work with just two crochet, but uh, as you can see, it's only like a moment and then you start increasing normally. And then this little ripple part at the bottom is made right onto the pattern. You don't have to sew it on or nothing. And they do stand up when they're on like a table. And the mouth is just embroidered on and then it's got safety eyes. Again, it's the ones I got from Amazon. They're just the solid black ones. Super cute pattern, no sewing whatsoever. This one's Red Heart Super Saver White and it's got um, polyfill in it, fiber, whatever it's called. And then I made another one in Glowworm, Super Saver Glowworm. I love this color. And when I was making this, it, it was making me think of um, Ghostbusters uh, Slimer or whatever his name is, because it's like a slimy green color and that's why I wanted it, because I thought it'd be a cool ghost color. And I, I wanna try to make a couple more of these, because uh, I only got these two. And the fair that I'm doing is right before Halloween. So I thought um, some little kids might want it or people like me who like to decorate for holidays might think it's cute and grab some of these. So yeah, they're super cute. And you could easily make them big. If you wanted to make them big, you could just double the strands or use bulky yarn and use a bigger hook or you can make it small by doing the reverse <laughs> using smaller yarn and a small hook. So you could kind of uh, customize it. Like you, if you used really small hook and yarn, you can make like a keychain if you wanted to. Really cool, cute little pattern, and it's free. Free is always good. Then the last finished objects I have is a Jade and Stitches pattern, and it Ooh. is called what was that? <laughs> I forgot I had Facebook pulled up too. It's probably Amber messaging me back, but um, it's called Pumpkin Drawstring Bag by Jade and Stitches, and it's a free video tutorial on her website, and I'll link it. I mean on YouTube, and I'll link it below. But it is these cute little. I got two of them. Little. It's there's nothing in it, so it's kind of flat looking. But when there's stuff in there, it would be rounded out. And it's just a little drawstring bag, super easy. It's got a drawstring that you just pull close and then you can tie this in a bow. Tie it in a bow real fast. Super fast pattern. I made both of these. I made one last night while Devin was playing a game. I was sitting there watching him and I made it. And then I made most of the second one last night. And then this morning when I got up, I finished it. All I had to do was the green parts, which it's in three pieces. The bag is one piece, this drawstring is one piece, 
And then this curlicue is another piece. And the curlicue is cool because it looks like a vine first, but also it's used kind of like the um, little plastic cinch thingy on drawstring bags. So that when you pull the strings, instead of just having to tie a knot right there, you just use the vine to hold it up there and it holds it good. And then you can tie this into a bow to make it look pretty. But I think these are cute. I got two done and I want to make um, at least like six or eight more so that I can have uh, quite a few of them and with a little display and maybe have candy or something in one just to show people like what you can do with it and uh, have a sign up that says that they're you know treat bags or something like that because like a grandma or something might want to get some for her grandkids that's the idea at least <laughs> but I think these are cute these would be really cute like if I was a teacher which I always wanted to be a teacher and I had a classroom of students uh, this would be a good thing for that for uh, the season because it's not Halloween based it's a pumpkin so it could be fall or anything so any kids who aren't allowed to celebrate Halloween or you know religious reasons whatever they can still um, get an autumn bag with candies or whatever in it so this is a really cool idea I think and this is also easily customizable I mean you could change the pumpkin to um, like a red color or something and this to a lighter green color and make like an apple or something I don't know it's just creativity <laughs> but these are really cute and really fast all of these that is all my finished objects and I only have one whip and it's a spider. <laughs> I, I started this so that I could go to my in-laws because um, I like to be able to take a crochet pattern there that I don't need a pattern for. A uh, crochet project that I don't need a pattern for so that I can sit on the couch while everybody's talking and all that and I can crochet without like having to look at my phone the whole time and um, refer to a pattern. But I haven't gotten super far. I got almost all the legs done. I'm working on the last leg. I stopped on the leg. And this yarn is uh, actually one of my acquisitions. This is a Devra Norville. I got it right here. It's like every day, I think. Devra Norville every day. And it's Aubergine. Is this the one that was Aubergine? Yeah, Aubergine. I got it at um, my thrift store for 99 cents. All the yarn there is 99 cents. Uh, unless it's the day that stuff is half off and then they're 49 cents. So I always get yarn when it's full skeins there. But uh, I got a ton of it left and I'm almost done with this spider so I could probably get a few more spiders out of it. It's a really pretty deep color. And I've, I have some of this Devra Norville that someone gifted me but I've not used it yet. It's still on my shelf. But this is so soft. I've never realized how soft this acrylic yarn was. And uh, I may have to keep my eyes peeled for some deals on this because this would make really nice amber groomies. And it's so soft and squishy. But yeah, so I got that and it's got a stitch marker on it that Hannah gifted me a long time ago from the Cozy Cottage Crochet. It's a ladybug. Yeah, and that's just living in my old, old, old skeleton bag. One of the first bags I ever made. And um, the hook I'm using is a G hook and it's got a moon on it. It had more stars, but they've worn off over the, the time of me using it. And it's got fuzzies all over it, but yeah. I love my polymer clay hooks. Oh, it's honking their horn. That's my only active whip. I have a whole box of whips that I'm waiting to work on until after my craft fair. Because I need to focus on craft fair stuff right now. But I do have a hat over there for myself. I have a thing for my sister. I have a Christmas tree skirt over there. I have something else. I can't remember. I do also have another amigurumi whip. And it's the Timothy the T-Rex. But I still haven't fixed his eye. So he's still just sitting over there. But I'm going to go ahead and roll into acquisitions. Since that yarn was one of my acquisitions. That same day that I picked that up. I got two balls of the Devra Norville Everyday Parrot which is a really pretty color. Got two of them. This one is just wound up weird. <laughs> Someone ripped it. And then the last one I got that day was a Baby Bee Sweet Delight, which I have a bunch of this yarn over there, but this is a different colorway. This is called Peas and Carrots. I thought this would be good for like a amigurumi or something. I don't know. I always buy the full balls for sure. And then I do buy half skeins and like round up balls if it's yarn that I know that I like and will use like a red heart scrap or something I will buy it um, so that I can make amigurumis and stuff with it yeah so that's all my acquisitions I got a ton of other acquisitions but it's all sewing stuff so uh, I don't think any of you guys would be real interested in that until bags are being made but I got an acquisition in the mail that I super love oops I should get the table um, I love this acquisition acquisition it was a gift from Becky and it was a potiversary gift, which uh, was in June, was my second year potiversary here on YouTube. And so she sent me another yarn bowl. This one's bigger, which is perfect. And I love how it's like 
not round. <laughs> it's like squiggly. And I've already used it a whole lot and I absolutely love it. This is perfect for my big giant uh, skeins that I roll into balls. They all fit down in here somewhere. I haven't had any issue. So I've been using this one and the other one she gifted me earlier this year or last year. Uh, it's actually on the couch right now with some yarn by in it from the pattern I was working on earlier. But I do use these all the time and I've become addicted to these. Like I always want to use my yarn bowls. And um, we have a local pottery store here and they sell yarn bowls every now and then. And one of the ones that she sells looks like Jack Skellington's head. And I really want to grab one of those uh, the next time uh, she posts some for sale. Because they are so cool. And this is just so pretty though. It's like glazed and oh, I just love it. I love it so much. <laughs> That's all my acquisitions that is yarny. I guess I will show you the fabric just because it's going to be upcoming bags soon in the shop. i am already started cutting them and then I will start sewing them and all that and they'll be for sure up by the end of August because they're Halloween bags so they need to be sellable in September <laughs> so that everybody can enjoy their Halloween bags, you know, the Halloween season. But some of them are already cut so they might, it might be weird kind of showing them. I showed some of them already too but I'll show them again. This one is uh never before christmas and it's it's orange it's just kind of blown out a little bit and i love this one <laughs> this is a little fat oop, that was a little fat cats and pumpkins and then this one i also love this would be such a pretty skirt pumpkins and then there's this vintagey steampunky really cool looking halloween one <laughs> With just all kinds of Halloween stuff. I got this one um, yesterday. I went to Joann's to get some more goat material and I got this one. This one is glittery and it's got like a ghost haunted house scene on it. It's really pretty. And then, oh, I got another acquisition. I gotta show, show that one. I forgot about that until just now. And then this one I've showed before, but it's in my stack, so I'll show it again. <laughs> Halloween cats. This was a new one that I got yesterday. This is three yards of it. I bought all they had left. <laughs> there goes Jesse just ran through. And then I bought all they had left of the goats too, which is also three yards. Mama, yes. you my other river? Because I, I don't know how to go fast. Because... What, what do you need me to do? You need me to push a button? No. No, I mean you to wash it. Wash your hand? Yeah. All right, let's go get the ladder and we'll wash your hands. Okay, sorry about that. I had to wash his hands. Um, some of this goat material and some of the peanuts Halloween, I'm going to actually try a new bag design that I want to work on. And I'm actually, I was going to do that today, but I cleaned a lot today. <laughs> and I do have other prints too, but they are for the liners. So uh, nobody cares to see that, I guess. It's so much fun. Okay, go play. He's just running around in circles. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is I got another random package in the mail from Beth at Heaven's Peacemaker. It's on YouTube and I'll try to remember to link it down below if I can. I may have to talk louder because he's running around. But she sent me two yards of fabric. <laughs> and uh, they're really cute. Let me make, yeah, okay. These are like cats in costumes. Oh lord, he's, he's crazy. Cats in costumes. And then, uh, like a liner material. I'm Any so cards. tired, Mama. Well, maybe you shouldn't run around like a crazy person. <laughs> Why don't you go get a drink or something so you can cool off? Alright, so that's, that is all my acquisitions. And all those Halloween bags will be up in the shop before September. The end of August sometime. I will announce it on the Facebook group and here on YouTube in its own video when the time comes. I actually did have a shop update yesterday, but they're already sold out except two. There are currently two bag sets on my shop right now if you're interested. The no, link is below. Uh, all the links I talked about will be linked below in the description box. Like I said, if I forgot something, just remind me in the comments and I will give it to you. And I'll also put it in the description. Uh, I forget stuff sometimes. And yeah, I, I think that's probably everything. I don't have to do any life updates because I'm doing vlogmas. So you get a life update from me almost every day. And yeah, I think that's about everything. So I'm going to go ahead and hop off here and try to run his energy out. Because he is all wired up. <laughs> and it's nowhere near bedtime. It's not even six yet. I'm like a dust area player. Really? 
I think I'll make tacos for dinner or nachos. Probably nachos. Oh. You gonna eat some tacos with mama for dinner? Yes. Oh, one more thing I forgot to do. I forgot to announce the winner for the knit crate. <laughs> Let me bring it up. I drew this winner on the 5th, like I intended to release it that day, and I've just been so busy and things have been happening. So it's been sitting on my computer, and I'm going to tell you something. It took me a good 30 minutes to find a winner, because every I drew probably 40 names before I found one that was subscribed to me. And uh, I'm not going to let someone win something that's not subscribed to me. That's, you know, it's in my giveaways. You have to be a subscriber. But, um, which is fine. You know, I finally found a winner that was subscribed to me publicly that I could see. So the winner is, da -da -da -da, drum roll, I can't do drum roll, Darlene King. And um, all she said was, the color is gorgeous. <laughs> I would show you, but I don't know if you'd be able to see it very well. Oh, it's glary because there's a window behind there. But Darlene, you have a week to contact me with your, um, through email. My email will be in the description box below. Let me know your shipping information and all that jazz. By the Tuesday the 20th which is next Tuesday, and I will get your package shipped out to you as soon as I can after I get your email. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I, I should be getting my new knit crate probably this week sometime, and uh, I don't even know what theme it is. I can't remember, so it's going to be fun. I think it's like birds or something, but um, we'll see when it gets here, I guess. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess that's everything for sure this time, so I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>